bombers could well have been one of the most important military aircraft to serve in war. They are capable of flying long distances, taking massive payloads to major targets, and wreaking all manner of destruction on those below. And as time has gone on, they've got smaller as multi-role aircraft have become the norm. There have been some incredible bombers over the years. From the mighty Boeing B-17 of the Second World War to the crazy advanced Soviet machines such as the Tu-160 and Tu-22. These are some of the most advanced bombers the world has ever seen. In this video, we will take a look at the seven of the deadliest bombers ever deployed by the military. B-52 Stratofortress The Boeing B-52 is the same age as the British Avro Vulcan, both taking to the skies in the early 1950s. But whilst the Vulcan was retired in the early 1990s and the last one flying was in civilian hands for airshow, the B-52 may well be flying until it is over 100 years old. Famous for its long-range bombing missions in the Gulf War and its involvement in Vietnam, the buff looks set to be with us for many more years. TU-160 Blackjack Onto something a bit more modern now, the Tu-160 Blackjack is effectively the Soviet version of the Rockwell B-1B Lancer, except it was much bigger. It is the largest and heaviest combat aircraft built, yet no more than 39 have reportedly been built. Even then, the Soviets could only operate 16 at a time due to how much they cost. B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber the B-2 Spirit stealth bomber was nothing short of an engineering marvel. Designed during the Cold War, it was kept secret almost until it entered service and is one of the most advanced aircraft ever built. One of the best bombers ever. It's certainly up there. And with an 18,000 kilogram payload, it can certainly pack plenty of punch. Rockwell B-1 Lancer The B-1 Lancer went through a troubled development Initially developed as a Mach 2 bomber in the B-1A, that idea was shelved and lead to the creation of the B-2 Spirit. However, the project was revived and specs reduced to produce a Mach 1 bomber, and the B-1B is still in service to this very day. Tuple of Tu-95 while it might be quite dated and antiquated, the Tu-95 Bear has been the mainstay of Soviet bomber operations for many years, and regularly are the spotted on patrol in the Atlantic and most notably, near British territory. Although given their ages, I can't imagine they are much fun to fly in. It even spawned an airliner variant, the Tu-114, and VIP variant, the Tu-116. of Tu-22. The Tu-22 Backfire is surely one of the most awesome-looking bombers that the Soviet Union ever developed. NATO nicknamed Backfire, it's supersonic, long-range, and can also become a maritime attack aircraft as well. One of the most advanced Soviet bombers has also served with Ukraine and Indian Air Forces in its service life. B-21 Raider the U.S. Air Force's next-generation B-21 stealth bomber program will likely cost taxpayers at least $203 billion to develop, purchase and operate 100 aircraft over 30 years, according to new service estimates. The B-21 Raider will be rolled out to the public in 2022, though there is no concrete date. Several months afterward, the Raider will make its first test flight. The new B-21 Raider could do more than just drop bombs, it could become a mothership for drones, guiding them on complex missions through enemy territory. The B-21 Raider will be capable of penetrating the toughest defenses to deliver precision strikes anywhere in the world. The B-21 is the future of deterrence. 